Hi, welcome to another episode of Tony TV brought to you by Big Blue Bug Solutions. You're looking at a photograph of a deer tick, but deer ticks aren't this big. As a matter of fact, if you're reading the newspaper, I have a book at home and there's a period at the end of a sentence, that's about the size of a deer tick. And deer ticks in our area can transmit Lyme disease. Lyme disease is one of the most common pathogens now being transmitted by ticks here in the United States and particularly in southern New England. It started right here in Lyme, Connecticut, so not too far away. And there's not an area in southern New England that does not have deer ticks. So if you're a person who likes to go camping, hiking, fishing, maybe you golf and you can't keep the ball in the fairway, huh? Hit the ball in the woods a little bit. That's where you can have your problems. That's where you can pick up your deer ticks. Here are a few things you can do. Number one is make sure when your children are outside and you're outside that you use a product with DEET in it. DEET is still the number one product on the market to use to prevent ticks from crawling on you, to repel ticks. And it also works well for mosquitoes too. Apply it in the areas that it says on the label. Remember, read the label and follow the instructions. For children, especially young ones under the age of three, some applications are not even appropriate, or you want a product with DEET in it that may have a lesser concentration, maybe as low as 10% DEET, where on adults and older children, you can use up to 35% DEET if you're spending a lot of time outdoors. Number two is make sure your property is protected. If your property borders the woods, or you have shady areas, a lot of shrubs, a lot of trees and things, those areas can be treated. It's on the tips of the trees, the edges of the tall blades of grass, that's where the deer ticks love to hang out. And all you need to do is walk by and you end up transferring that deer tick, picking them right up. They don't jump, they don't fly. You have to brush against that shrub, but as soon as you come into contact, the deer tick springs into action and is on you very quickly. So remember, deer ticks carry Lyme disease, but they do have to feed on you for a while, up to 24 hours. So just because you have one crawling on you doesn't mean you're gonna get Lyme disease. But whenever there's a doubt, or if you find a deer tick feeding on you, call your physician or your children's pediatrician right away. This has been another episode of Tony TV. And remember, you can follow us too on the Big Blue Bug Solution Show here on News Talk 630 WPRO and 99.7 FM on Saturdays from 9 in the morning to 10 in the morning.